Welcome back. We're going to ask a simple question in this segment. Is the Democratic Party killing itself before our eyes and in real time? That's the argument laid out by writer Ian Henderson in a new piece on the conservative website American Greatness. He writes in part, and I quote, Increasingly so, more whites are realizing that the economically center-left and socially, culturally conservative part of FDR and JFK no longer exist. The old Democratic Party was a pro-labor, pro-union party. Today, the Democratic Party is the party of open borders, multiculturalism, and environmentalism, positions that reduce wages, divide communities, and undermine economic prosperity. The traditional base of white working-class Democrats either cannot relate to or are opposed to these policies, and as a result, have been leaving the Democratic Party in droves. Joining us now to debate is Garland Nixon, a radio talk show host and Democratic strategist, along with actor and current Republican congressional candidate in California, Antonio Sabato Jr. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you. Garland, I'm going to start with you. As a member of that party, do you feel like the party of yesteryear is no longer the party of today, and as a result, you're losing crucial blocks of support? Uh, yes, but I do feel that the party is moving in the direction, and n not necessarily willingly. I think that there are a number of people who are, have been associated with the Democratic Party for many years who have left because they were angry that the di direction of the party was So going. you're agreeing with the thesis of the piece, no, yeah, but, but for totally different reasons, because I think the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez's and the Ben Jealous's of the world and the Bernie Sanders are moving in the right direction, which is a populist movement, which is based on policy and not on identity politics, and that's why they're having success, and they're going to get their base to the polls, and you win by getting your base to the polls, not by running to Republicans. But part of what you're acknowledging, and I'll go to you, Antonio, is that identity politics isn't what worked. Part of, part of what is mentioned in the piece isn't mentioned in the piece is socialism, which you see candidates being elected with that label as well. Antonio, is socialism, identity politics, open borders, and environmentalism a winning formula? No, it's a negative formula for everyone, including everyone, everyone in this country. I mean, they're not the Democratic Party anymore. They're the Socialist Party. You know, I, I love presidents like JFK. That was, the, that was the last guy for me as far as the Democratic Party. But after that, and what we've seen in the last few years, especially uh, under this the new administration and the attacks that we receive every day, violence, I mean, I've never seen that before, and uh, I'm fighting against it. I think it's a sign of bullying, and I think people are walking away from the Democratic Party, and they know the Republicans are there to support America and our flag and our Constitution, and that's what we're here to do, to bring prosperity and peace. That's what mm -hmm. we want, and we want to protect our country. What's more important than that? Well, good point, Garland. A great example of the impossible choice that is the modern Democratic Party is traditionally uh, the party of unions, of the working man, yet at the same time now very much beholden to environmental interests uh, who have a different priority and have sunk industries that, that President Trump has said, I want to bring back because I want clean water and I want clean air, but I don't want ridiculous environmental regulations that undercut right. entire industries. Garland, how do you, how do you square that circle? By disagreeing with you, because I don't think that industries, industries have been sunk by environmental regulations. I think industries have been sunk by poor decisions and deregulated environments. That, that the two things are not the same. You Wait, can't, you, just because energy, we have a clean environment, we don't, we don't have to, we don't have to poison ourselves just, just to have a strong economy. Wait, so are we poisoning ourselves by unleashing an energy renaissance so now we will be the world's largest producer of oil? Is that poisoning ourselves, or is that giving jobs to Americans? Oh, that's poisoning ourselves. A, a true energy renaissance is clean energy, which means we won't have to pay for anything Subsidized. other than the infrastructure in the long term, and it will be cleaner. Why wouldn't we want to lead the world with a clean, ener a clean energy industry? So, uh, so to Antonio, to you, as part of getting that clean energy future, of course, is subsidizing uh, certain forms of energy that are not tenable on the private market. Uh, how long do you do that? And that looks a lot like picking winners and losers and back to socialism. Listen, they, they run this country in a socialist way. Our farmers, my farmers of Ventura County are paying the price by being over-regulated. You know, they want to talk about the environment. Why don't we talk about the people of the United States and taking care of them? Why don't we talk about the homelessness in California? Why don't we take care of them? We're always talking about everything else but the American people. And that's why I'm running, because I want Ventura County to be on top again, to be number one, and that's what I'm there to support and uh, represent in November. And the Republican Party is there for the American people. We're here to make sure not only that the country is clean, but is actually going to the next level and being uh, great again in mm -hmm. so many levels. So what we've seen in the last uh, you know year and a half, it's great. What we've seen in taxes, 
a military, a border. Everything is, is, is going smooth, but uh, they want to fight it. They want to fight everything that this president is doing every day. Well, of and course, the Republican Party. I forgot that, that the resist is the other core tenant, of course, of the Democratic Party. But Garland, I was interested in one thing you said earlier, that identity politics is not the future. I mean, the whole hyphenated future, as opposed to believing we're all Americans, regardless of race, gender, sexual right. orientation. How do you mm -hmm. get a... The party is, this, this piece argues that the Democratic Party is based in identity politics fundamentally, and that will be its undoing. How do you undo viewing people as a subgroup as opposed to a set of principles? Well, that's easy because we already have the formula for that. We watched Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders was a 74-year-old Jewish guy that had a lot of success doing that. We see now a 28-year-old 20, Latino woman who's has, having success Both doing that. Both of which are socialists. Right. So the bottom line is this. It's about policy. Look, the people, people, right now, if you look at the polls, all you don't have to, I don't care what you're called. If you go with um, uh, legalizing marijuana, 64% of Americans are in, are, are in favor. If you go with bringing our troops home from foreign wars, you're getting close to 70 percent so i don't care if you call yourself the Whigs, socialist or whatever <laughs> if you're running for policies that most americans agree uh, with according but, to the polls you're probably going to get Antonio, your people to the to the polls no. and you're going to win i appreciate the fact no, that he's no. trying to talk about policy but when i turn on other networks when i'm forced to say at the airport uh i see mm -hmm. nothing but resistance and trump hate and 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 talk of russian collusion and very little talk of what comes next. And when the answer becomes Medicare for all and legalized marijuana, which is a legitimate policy position, that's fine. And socialism, that doesn't, in America, doesn't strike me no. as something that will socialism, work. Yeah, socialism, socialism never worked. you've seen it. Now, it never worked in any country. You know, my family escaped it. No country under socialism has ever worked and will ever work, and especially the United States of America has no place in this country whatsoever. But it'd be great if the Democratic Party would actually work with this president because at the end of the day, we're trying yeah. to make America great, keeping it great, doing what's best for the American people. Not, not what's best for your party, not what's best for your leaders or your party, but what's best for Americans. And Americans are waking up, and they're saying, we don't want to go for this anymore. This is a false lie. We're going to vote Republican because, you know, at the end of the day, the Republican Party cares for the American people. Well, and, it, and that's what that's what the most important thing for me. I like people who actually care and love this country. It just, Garland, feels like maybe it's the educational system, maybe it's our media, maybe it's Hollywood, but latching on to socialism, identity politics, open borders, environmentalism, thing, yeah. just doesn't strike me in America, maybe Europe, but not here as a long-term winning yeah. strategy. That's what the piece argues. Thank you both. Great debate. Appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. All right.